What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm excited because last week I did a Crystal Beast deck profile showcasing the brand new Golden Rule card that just came out and how powerful Overdrive Turbo can now be. And today I really want to show you guys some combos that you can use and learn to play Overdrive Turbo and be as competitive as possible with Crystal Beast. Golden Rule gave this deck such a crazy boost and if you guys know how to combo with it, you can do some crazy things. So if if you guys enjoy these kind of videos make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one we upload five days a week here on the channel we do combo videos deck profiles dual replays product openings all that good stuff you'll catch it right here on the channel we also do shorts every single day so make sure you guys are subscribed to stay tuned so thank you guys all for watching and with that being said let's get right into some crystal beast combos okay so for the first combo over here all you're gonna need is a sapphire pegasus as well as a rainbow bridge now this is a two card combo that shouldn't be too difficult to get off because they are both three ups in the deck and it makes use of the brand new golden rule which is absolutely busted all right so let's get things started off here we're gonna activate our rainbow bridge and then go ahead and normal summon our sapphire pegasus activate its effect so that now we can place a ruby carbuncle into our spell and trap card zone now you guys might be wondering why are we putting ruby in our spell and trap card zone don't we want to summon this yes but we have to get to our golden rule and the way to do that is activate your rainbow bridge of the heart effect to pop the ruby carbuncle sending it to the graveyard i'll put the graveyard right over here and then because of that you're gonna get to search a crystal card and the card you're gonna want to search is your golden rule now keep in mind that golden rule is always counted as a crystal card which is why you can search it in this scenario and now what you can do is you can activate your golden rule which is then going to place two sapphire pegasus in your spell and trap zones and then it's going to get the special summon from your hand or your graveyard so now you're going to summon your ruby carbuncle ruby carbuncle now gets its effect to summon the two sapphire pegasus onto your side of the field like isn't that kind of crazy because these are now both live so you're going to activate the first sapphire as well as activate the second sapphire so it's going to be chain link one chain link two and then what you're going to do is you are going to put zenith into your spell and trap card zone for one of them and the other one it can be any one of these three names as long as it's not a level three that's all that matters because you're going to need the level threes on your field and in your graveyard to get your combos going all right so it could be any one of these three doesn't matter you're going to get them all out so in this case let's just go amber mammoth doesn't really matter and then what you're going to do is you're going to activate the zenith effect over here to banish itself so let's put the banish pile over here so you right over here it's banished and then it's going to get to summon a monster so the monster you're going to want to summon now is your emerald tortoise now why you want to go into your level three is because this is now going to give you access to a very broken card especially in this deck which is something that you would never have thought would happen if you've never played crystal beast before but now you go into cherubini now cherubini is extremely powerful it can send any level three monster from your deck to the graveyard and so you're going to be sending your last level three which is your amethyst cat so we're going to be sending that to the graveyard so that we can get another name in there so now at this point what we're going to do is we're going to use the two sapphire pegasus overlay them on top of each other to go into our dugaris because we really want to abuse the effect of dugaris so that we can special summon one back from the graveyard so we're going to detach the two here and then we're going to summon back the sapphire pegasus activating its effect again to put another card in your spell and trap card zone and the one you're going to want to put is either the cobalt or the topaz it does not matter because either way you're going to get to the other one it just you really need to be able to get one of them onto your spell and trap card zone all right so now we're going to go with topaz tiger in this case and now what you're going to be able to do is using the sapphire pegasus the dugaris as well as the chiribini we're going to link four into our zelantis now, Zelantis has a crazy effect where it can activate to banish everything on the field, all monsters on the field, and then special summon as many of those banished monsters back. So you're going to special summon back the Zelantis as well as your Sapphire Pegasus. Now, what does this do? This is going to let you get your Cobalt Eagle onto your Spell and Trap card zone. Something I completely forgot, by the way, which is, I don't know how I forgot to mention it. When you activate the Zenith effect earlier, you're always going to have to search a Rainbow Dragon. That's a mandatory effect, so it's not like something that you can pick to happen. This actually has to search the Rainbow Dragon. So yeah, forgive me for that but we definitely have the rainbow dragon in our hand all right i just i just want you guys to keep that in mind because this is kind of like the brick of the deck but in this one specifically it's actually not the brick because you can actually play with this card and it's essentially what gets the overdrive combo going so now what you're going to want to do because in a good real world you didn't forget to search your rainbow dragon you're going to link those two cards away which is your zelantis and your pegasus to go into cross sheet then what you're going to be able to do is special summon your rainbow dragon because if we have counted now we have one two three four five 
six, seven different names, and we have gathered all the crystals so that we can summon our rainbow dragon. We are then gonna use it to summon our rainbow over dragon over here, which is gonna trigger our cross sheep. And because a fusion monsters will summon to its zone, then essentially what you can do is summon back one from your graveyard. The one you're gonna wanna summon back here is your Ruby Carbuncle. Again, this not being once per turn is absolutely insane because Ruby is now gonna get to trigger to summon your monsters from your spell and trap zone. So now you have a ton of monsters on your side of the field, which you guys can see, which is kind of crazy. And so now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna just use four monsters here. So the Ruby, the over dragon, doesn't really matter which four, but we're we're gonna use four monsters over here so that we can make an apple and apple now has four monster negates on it so keep that in mind so that's four negates right over there then we're gonna use these two and you have one of two options you can either go into a rank four depending on the matchup so if you know you're going against back row matchups tornado dragon would be not a bad one right but what i like to personally do is use these two link them away and go into ip mascarena so that this way you have access to cards like unicorn if you're playing it there's just so many different cards that ip gives you access to so you guys can play ip but again if you're playing any other rank four that you think or you deem would be appropriate again like a rank four could be tornado dragon i wouldn't go baguska in this case but technically if you wanted to end on baguska you don't actually have to go into overdrive right then there because this is a combo where you're going to be making overdrive but again it all depends on the matchup right so if the matchup doesn't call for baguska there's no reason to make the baguska so ideally you're just going to go ip mascarena then because you have all of these crystal beasts you can banish seven of them and so you're going to banish your amber mammoth topaz tiger ruby carbuncle overdrive dragon cobalt eagle sapphire pegasus as well as your two guys over here your amethyst and your tortoise so that's seven names plus an ultimate crystal monster so that you can then summon your overdrive now overdrive has a crazy effect where if he hasn't attacked this turn which of course he hasn't attacked this turn what you can do is you can tribute him to shuffle all cards on the field back into the decks and then what you could do is you can summon as many crystal beast names as possible from your banished pile so why this is insane is because this alone is an otk this is eleven thousand attack right now by the way and then when you actually end up making this card and let's say you tribute it off right because this is your first turn combo so your first turn end board ends on four monster negates plus an ip that you can now use with this to make another you know if it's a unicorn which is another form of disruption plus this which is going to shuffle everything back into the deck and then what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to set up a uh, otk so let me show you guys so let's just say you know you have to use the the overdrive right so boom 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 everything gets shuffled back everything boom 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 what you get to do now is your opponent is not going to have any monsters on their side of the field, any cards actually on their side of the field. So you're going to be able to just summon all the big names that you guys have. I guess you could go here, five cards right over here, five monsters, and this is way more than 8,000 damage. So it's always going to set up OTK for you, whether it's OTKing itself or you're getting rid of your opponent's entire board and then you have these to OTK. All right, so the next two card combo I want to talk about actually involves you opening Golden Rule as well as opening Crystal Bond. And if you guys have watched my deck profile, you guys see that these are also both three ofs. Honestly, I think in any deck profile, these have to be three ofs. So the really cool thing about this deck is it's a bunch of two card combos, but all of these cards are all three ofs in this deck and this deck is super consistent. So it's really easy to open these kind of two card combos. So let's say you open Crystal Bond and Golden Rule. What can you guys do? Well, it's essentially going to make the same board. So let's go Crystal Bond. We're going to start off with that. And we're going to be able to add a Crystal Beast card to our hand. The one we're going to be able to add as a ruby carbuncle as well as place a crystal beast into our spell and trap card zone now in this case you actually don't want to put your sapphires in there you want to put one of the level three crystal beasts and that's pretty important you guys will see why later but now you have this in your spell and trap card zone you've also added your ruby carbuncle all right so now what you're going to do is activate your golden rule all right so we're going to activate our golden rule so that we can then place two of our sapphire pegasus and then we're going to be able to special summon our ruby carbuncle ruby carbuncle will now trigger to summon both our sapphire as as well as the amethyst cat so that we can now trigger both sapphire pegasuses and then we're going to be able to with one of them to put our zenith or crystal beast rainbow dragon and with the other one just put any of the level four names right so it could be amber could be uh your topaz could be Obel, cobalt all right so it doesn't matter which one it is but you're going to be able to put any of your level four names so what you're going to do now is because you actually got to get to the level three with the crystal bond you don't actually even have to zenith for the level three out right so what you can do instead is you can use these two to go straight into your Cherubini and then now what you're going to want to do or what you're going to be able to do I should say is you're going to be able to use this effect so that you can send your Emerald Tortoise and now all of the level 3 monsters all the level 3 Crystal Beast monsters that you need are now in your graveyard so that's three different names already all right so you get to skip a step here which is kind of nice then what you could do at this point is activate your uh, Rainbow Dragon Crystal Beast and that's pretty important because now you get to summon another name but on top of summoning another name you're going to be able to add a Rainbow Dragon to your hands so at this point you're going to be able to 
summon your Sapphire Pegasus. Of course, no effect here. You just need it for the name. So what you're going to do now is you are going to go into your Dugaris, activate your Dugaris so that you can summon back a Sapphire Pegasus and then activate its effect so that you can put Crystal Beast Topaz Tiger into your spell and trap zone, which is absolutely insane. And then what you're going to be able to do is you are actually going to, first of all, have Rainbow Dragon in your hand, which I talked about earlier, but I didn't put it in my hand again. But now that you have this in your hand, what you're actually going to be able to do is use these three so that you can then go into Zelantis and then activate the Zelantis effect. Same thing. Well, Zelantis is going to be here, but then you're going to activate it so that you can banish all of them. And then you're going to be able to summon them back. And then once they're summoned back, sorry guys, I'm getting ahead of myself. Once they're summoned back, this is going to be able to activate to put the last piece of the puzzle into your spell and trap card zone. So you're going to go Cobalt Eagle. Then what you get to do is you get to make these two into your cross sheep. So you guys can see how it's kind of a very similar combo. You just have to start with two different cards, but it doesn't really make that much of a difference. You now have seven names, so you can summon your rainbow dragon. Use it to make your rainbow over dragon. This is now going to get to trigger so that you can summon back your ruby carbuncle over here. Ruby is now going to get to trigger to summon these three back. So now you have all of these names, which is kind of crazy if you ask me. All right. So now what you can do is you, you can do a lot of different things here. You can make apple, which you're probably going to make. So let's say you go three material apples so let's start off with a three material appaloosa actually let's just go into a four material appaloosa all right so let's go into four material appaloosa over here so you go appaloosa and then again it's the same situation where you can go into your ip mascarena to get those in the graveyard and then now you have seven names in your graveyard that you're going to get to banish so one two three four five six and seven as well as an ultimate crystal monster so let's just get rid of your over dragon over here so we're gonna get to get rid of all of these and then we're gonna be able to summon our crystal beast rainbow dragon overdrive which is absolutely insane and so you guys can see it doesn't matter what the two card combo is you're pretty much going to be always be able to end on the same board which is kind of crazy because you're still ending on four disruptions on the apple and ip disruption when you link it away with an apple to make something else keep in mind again with ip you can go ip into unicorn which is really really powerful so that's another form of disruption it's a two card combo right so you still have three cards in your hand here if it's an imperm or hand traps those are really powerful as well and then if not you always have this guy shuffle everything back get your monsters back and then go for the otk so it doesn't matter which two card combo you open it's always going to end on a same or very similar board which is absolutely insane so that is it for today's video i hope you guys did enjoy those were two different two card combos that ended on a crazy board with multiple forms and layers of disruption which is absolutely insane keep in mind the other three cards in your hand can be hand traps board breakers you have cards like crystal miracle that can be now another omni negate for you and then on top of that if you're going second a combo like this one can sometimes just be enough to push for otk so that's how powerful this deck is and i think these combos are insane so if you guys enjoyed make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one we upload five days a week here on the channel and that includes deck profiles combo videos dual replays all that good stuff you'll find it right here on the channel so make sure you guys are subscribed to stay tuned into all of that thank you guys all for watching i appreciate every single one of you with that, Spanko signing out. Peace.